Greetings everyone. Welcome to Purple Trades. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to use AMI Broker. AMI Broker is one of the most popular algo trading tool because it is very user friendly, has its own library of lots of technical indicators and helps us code our custom strategy at ease. It also has powerful backtesting features which gives us results of our strategy in matter of seconds. Today, I am going to show you what are the initial setup settings to be done and then we are going to discuss the following topics. The topics that we are going to discuss today are initial settings for ME Broker, how to fetch live data to ME Broker, how to create your own watch list, how to backtest your strategy on your watch list, how to use scanner. Now if you are a beginner, I would request you to see all the topics step by step. However, if you know few of the topics and you are interested only among the other topics, in the bracket we have mentioned the time of the video from where the topic starts. You can just directly forward to that, that particular time frame and can see the <coughs> portion of the video which you like the most. Right. Alright, let's start. So I have my ME Broker installed in. Now when I go to ME Broker, I cannot see any chart because right now there is no data plugin that I have provided. To load the charts, we need the data from the server. Now there are many data vendors in India which provide you data. Few data vendors provide you data at as cheap as 450 rupees to 500 rupees per month, whereas some premium data vendors provide you data for as costly as 2000 rupees per month. The higher you pay, the better quality of data you get. Which data vendor to choose is completely your choice. Now once you choose the data vendor, you can just contact it support team and they will install the data and they will make sure that the charts are plotted right now in this video i will be using a data vendor which will help me plot the chart now i had contacted to a data vendor they took my laptop on remote and they have installed the charts now the charts are getting plotted now if i want to add any indicators to this chart this particular chart that is live i can do it by this window when i go to this window I have an option called charts. If I click on this charts option, a widget will appear on my left hand side. When I double click, the widget will stick into this. Now here I have a lot of indicators that are inbuilt by AFL, now uh, inbuilt in ME broker. Now whichever indicator I want to plot on my chart, I can simply drag and drop that. For example, if I want to plot EM exponential moving average on this chart, I'll just simply drag and drop it on the chart and you can see that a moving average is getting plotted. Now I can I can choose what parameter I want. For example, instead of 15 days moving average, if I want it to be a 20 days exponential moving average, I will click just a 20 and there you go. Now this chart that I'm plotting is of daily. It is mentioned here as daily. Now if I want to change the time frame of this chart, I can also do that by right click and then on intraday and I can choose the time frame. For example, if I want a 5 minutes chart, I can just click on 5 minutes and there you go. Now all the candles plotted are of 5-5 five, five minutes and the last candle is the latest candle and according to the closing price of the candles, the moving average is automatically plotted. Now if I want one more moving average, I can just again drag and drop the same exponential moving average and again I can change the parameter. I'll right click parameter and for the blue moving average if I want let us say it to be as 50 day moving average there you go now my 20 days and 50 days moving average is plotted similarly how many ever number of indicators you want to add into this chart you can do that for example if I want to add some more indicators let us say I want to add MACD I'll just drag and drop MACD here. If I drag and drop, it will ruin my chart because MACD is plotted below the chart. So if I drag and drop this MACD, my chart will not work properly because it is a lower indicator. So I have to delete this indicator from the chart. Now, how do I do that? Right click, click on delete indicator and I want to delete MACD from the chart and the chart will work fine. But if I want to plot MACD, I have to double click on MACD. When I double click on MACD, you can see a new plotting of MACD is done based upon the closing candles and the parameters are set already. The default parameters are 12, 26 and 9. However, if you want to change the parameters, you can also change the parameter and the plotting of the chart is done. Similarly, you can explore more features in the chart option. Now, once you have created your desired chart, 
you can also create your own watch list and check which stock is giving you buy and sell according to your desired charting conditions now how do you do that go to the windows and click on symbols when you when you click on symbols a list of stocks that are provided by your data vendors will appear here at the down you can scroll down uh, using arrow keys you can just scroll up or down and you can see all the charts and the indicators that you have applied will work on all the charts now if you want to create your own customized watch list you can do that by clicking on watch lists here just click on watch list and you have set of li pre inbuilt list however if you want to create your own list let us say i want to create my own list in new watch list i can name it as anything for example if i name it as kushal and the name kushal will appear here now if i want to add my own set of stocks i can do it in several ways one easier way is to just type in the symbol that i want to add into we have to type as per the nsc exchange uh, however we have to type the name as it is listed on nsc for example if i want to uh, see the chart of state bank of india in my watch list then i have to type as sbin now when i click on sbin here you can see that the state bank of india chart is loading so my kushal watch list has only one stock that is state bank of india similarly if i want to add multiple stocks i can type multiple stocks like for example icici bank comma tata steel comma tcs comma infosys and click on ok so you can see that there are four more stocks that i have added icici bank tata steel tcs and infosys so my watch list has the stocks selected by me now if you have a lot of stocks and you want to import them or you want to make your watch list and now if you have a watch list of more than let us say 100 or 50 stocks you, uh, so typing all those stocks would be time consuming instead of them you can import them how do you import it is very simple first we have to understand the file format which me broker accepts how do i do that it is very simple i'll right click and then i'll click on export i'll export this watch list let us say i export it on desktop and i'll name this as kushal itself now I have to open it with let us say notepad now whatever stocks i want to add in i can add all those stocks here for example if i want to add nifty 200 stocks i just go to google list of nifty 200 stocks I will download the CSV format, open it up. These are the stock name or these are the symbol names. Now I have to just copy all the symbol names. And once copied, I have to paste it in my watch list. And I'll delete all the stocks and paste and then i'll just save this now once i <clears throat> have created a watch list there i'll come back here go to cushion right click and i'll click on import when i click on import i go to the desktop back and this is the file I just open up and you can see all the stocks which were in my watch list are up here now so within a matter of few seconds i have created a watch list of nifty 200 Similarly, you can type in all the stocks that you want and you can create your own customized watch list. AFL developed on moving average crossover basis. I'll just show you how to add AFL here. It is very simple. Right click on the chart, click on edit formula and then click on this new button and then open the AFL wherever it is present on your local machine. So I'll just open it. It is in my D folder. So. just go to my D folder and let us say I go with EMA now it is plotted at the down and the above two charts are unwanted for me so I just right click there and close the above charts 
so here my settings are done it is a simple strategy where if moving average crossover is giving a sell a red arrow will come and if moving average signal is giving me a buy a green arrow will come now if i want to check how moving average is working on 5 minute candle and how it has performed in the last 30 days i can do so by just clicking on analysis then i click on old automatic analysis a box will appear where i can write n last days as n is equal to 30 i want to check my strategy for last 30 days and i have to pick the same strategy i just go to pick and the same strategy i have to pick again and here in the settings i have to do all the settings periodicity is 5 minutes because i want to check the AFL back testing at 5 minutes so I'm keeping the candle as 5 minutes if I if the chart behind is 5 minutes but if I select let us say hourly then the back testing will happen on hourly not on the chart which is plotted below so you need to understand this so periodicity should be at the, the one which you want to back test on position I want both long and short to be executed if you want only long position or only short position you can do that also but in this strategy let us say I want both long and short positions just I click on OK then here I have to select check the parameters as well my parameters are by default 2050 and I cannot change in this AFL so by, by default my strategy is set now when I click on backtest before clicking on backtest I have to check what script I want to backtest on for example if I just want to backtest on JSW energy or the chart that is behind I can click on current symbol current symbol means the symbol which is plotted on the chart so if I want to just check the back tested report for the last 30 days on this on the chart that is right be behind i can just click on back test and there you go in a matter of seconds it will show me that in last 30 days 20 trades were initiated which gave me a loss of 7 rupees 86 paisa right now if i want to back test this strategy on my nifty 200 watch list which i have created i can do that also by clicking on use filter and then i define it my watch list name is Kushal, so I just click on Kushal and then click on OK. So now it will backtest on the all the 200 stocks for last 30 days. When I click on backtest, it is backtesting. So since a lot of stocks are there, it will take some time to process. And there you go. You can see that it has given me a profit of 4,448 rupees in last 30 days. If I find that this profit is good enough for me, then I can continue with the strategy else I can optimize by changing let us say uh, instead of 2050 I can optimize it to maybe 1015 or 2040 whatever whichever gives me the best result when I'm satisfied I can use that on my live chart so this is one of the biggest advantage of using MB broker it helps you backtest to understand how the strategy has performed in the past so it will give you a rough idea of how the strategy can perform in the future and accordingly whether you want to optimize it or run it as such another advantage of ME broker is that you can also scan the stocks or the watch list and check where the current signals are being generated for example if I'm using the cushion watch list which has 200 stocks and now I want to know currently right now which stock is giving buy or sell signal I can do that also just by clicking on n last quotation and giving n is equal to 1 that means I want to check when I give n is equal to 1 that means the latest one candle is producing a buy or sell signal when I click on the scan it will scan all the 200 stocks and it will check which is giving me a buy or a sell signal you can see that within a matter of 6 seconds I came to know that Asian paint and OFSS are giving me sell signal right now you can see Asian paint is giving me a sell right now and OFSS is also giving me a sell signal right now so instead of seeing 200 stocks individually and checking where the entry and exit is coming I can just click on scan and within matter of seconds I can come to know which trade to execute and which one not to execute similarly instead of 1 if I give n is equal to 2 or 3 or 10 it will check the last 10 candles and tell me which stocks had given me buy or sell signals so you can see that there are lots of stocks so that way I can choose a range for all quotation and last days there are various types of range which I can experiment with and using this I can see which stocks have generated signal at what time and how have they performed. Another amazing feature of MB Broker is the bar replay feature which literally helps you to play highlight of last n historical data 
and check how the signals have executed for example if i want to see how the signals would have been plotted in the last four to five days i can do that by clicking on this bar replay option when i click on bar replay and if i select let us say today is 28th jan so if i select let us say 21st jan if i want to check how the stock has performed in the last seven days step by step and let us say I give five minutes of step interval with five candles each so every minute every single second of five five candles will be plotted exactly the way it would have been <clears throat> exactly the way it was plotted uh, a week ago so when i click on play you can see that the plotting is happening in the real time so this basically helps us create the highlight of how the stock would have performed this green is my buy signal which is working very well and if i would have taken this trade i would have made some handsome profits similarly a sell is generated here so by using bar replay i can check how my stock would have performed and i can visualize the entire buy and sell entry although scanners and back testing gives you the reports but bar replay helps you visually play this and helps you understand how your signal would have performed in the live market so this is one very amazing feature of MB Broker. in the next video we are going to show you how to automate your trades using ami broker and our bridge purple trades in association with algoji has created a fully automatic bridge that will fetch the signal produced by ami broker and will automatically execute on your behalf that means with the use of this bridge you can automate your entire trading setup all you have to do is convert your logic into AFL, put it into AMI Broker and run the scan. Whenever the orders will be generated, they will be automatically executed into your trading account. Now how does that system works? I will explain you in the next video. Stay tuned, subscribe, like and comment. Thank you so much.